Deep base versus medium base paint what's the difference? The quick answer is deep base paint has less titanium dioxide, TiO2, than medium base paint. Although we answer the question, you're probably scratching your head, wondering, but isn't there more to it than that? Yes, there is, but we need to back up several steps to discuss and define terminology. What is base paint? The short answer is that it contains a coating industry company's DNA of that particular type of paint. Also, base paint is not the same as base coat, which is the first coat of paint you apply to a paint project. But that's a discussion for another time. Demystifying base paints. Not all base paints are identical. Base paints from Sherwin-Williams won't have the same chemicals as one of their competitors and vice versa. The DNA of the base paint can determine whether the paint is for interior or exterior use. The paint's adhesion properties. Whether the painted surface can be cleaned with household products. The paint is scuff resistant. What colors are best for the base? The paint's sheen, flat, matte, satin, semi-gloss, gloss. Clean up, either with water or paint thinner. While some professionals determine which base paint they want to use on a project, most rely on the paint stores to decide. Also, some colors can only be created with certain bases. So no matter how much you may want one particular base, it may be impossible to make. When you go to your paint store, the clerk will select which base paint to recommend based upon. The color you want. Where your project is located, indoors or outside. Your budget. Your expectations, such as durability, cleaning, water resistance, etc. Even though base paints from various companies contain different chemicals and elements, they all share one crucial chemical. Let's explore what it is. Coating industry companies design their base paints to be as pure a white as possible. Suppose you made a side-by-side -side comparison of base paints from different manufacturers. In that case, you'd notice they all are white or opaque white. This key ingredient all companies use is titanium dioxide, TiO2. This white pigment can scatter light, which makes it appear to our eyes as white, bright, and having opacity, not transparent. Coating companies use this base to add colorants, also called pigments, to achieve various colors. There are two types of titanium dioxide. Anatase. Rutile. In the coating industry, Rutile TiO2 is preferred because it is more durable and scatters light better than Anatase TiO2. Next in our discussion is medium base paint. As the name implies, medium base paint has more titanium dioxide than deep base but less than light base paint. In other words, it's in the middle of the TiO2 spectrum. As we mentioned at the start, the coating company determines the chemical makeup of medium base paints. So each varies from vendor to vendor and product to product. Just like deep bases, you shouldn't use this product without having it tinted. Remember, off the shelf, medium base paint is white. Even if you're applying it to an existing white ceiling or wall, it may not cover marks or fingerprints. And it definitely won't cover a darker color. You'll apply more coats than necessary, which will cost you man hour and product. Colors best suited for a medium base are those in the earth, tones like rust, terracotta, and certain blues and grays. Medium base paint isn't suited for dark colors or lighter shades. Light base paint has the most high O2 of any previous bases. It's also used more frequently than medium and deep bases. This is because light bases are ideal for trim colors, sealing whites, pastels, light grays, and beiges. Of all the bases that you could use and tinted, light base is the best option, but with a caveat. There's one final base to look at, and it's clear tint base. These products are primarily for staining or finishing wood cabinets, decks, and furniture. As with the other bases we discussed, clear tint bases vary by manufacturer. For example, one manufacturer created a clear tint lacquer for the top coat on stained cabinets. This lacquer is designed to withstand household chemicals and water and is durable. Since you want the stain color to be visible, you wouldn't tint this lacquer. This clear tint is solvent-based, meaning you need to use lacquer thinner to clean brushes and rollers. It can be tinted to over 200 colors, and one coat dries in about an hour. Because it's water-based, you can clean up brushes and rollers with soap and water. The only differences between deep base vs medium base paint are The amount of TiO2 in each. Medium has more than deep base paint. The color they can create. As discussed, reds and blacks can only be made in a deep base to allow for the extra colorants. Conversely, lighter colors like terracotta don't need as many pigments, so a medium base will suffice. 
All bases are priced the same at most paint stores when it comes to cost. And coating companies have medium and deep base paints specifically designed for interior, exterior, trim, water resistance, etc. The circle view of the avatar can come in handy if you are creating product tutorials. Just upload your screen recording, type your text and all done.